So yesterday was pretty productive. I was able to go to a meeting to uh, meet and greet with somebody running for county chair of the Utah Democratic Party. Um, goes by Q, first name Kwong. Um, seems like a pretty, pretty good guy. I enjoyed the uh, people who showed up. Saw some uh, familiar faces. Nadia Bowman, who's running for state chair, was there. I met a uh, um, Jennifer. Jennifer Daly Provost, Provo, um, she seemed quite interesting. She actually told me that I gave her the chills with my little introduction for myself. Um, for what it's worth, I, uh, you know, it was about Q. It was there, we were there to meet him and uh, talk about his run, but he wanted people to introduce themselves. Most of us were delegates, myself included. Um, and so what I spoke about was, uh, you know, I just kind of mentioned, you know, I come from an Army background. Um, you know, I'll be running for West Valley City Mayor. Um, and, you know, I, I'm really tired of seeing the things like the ICE arrests here in West Valley. Um, it bums me out that people can't really trust their police force because they're afraid that they may just simply be big brother to ICE and, uh, you know, rat them out until they'll get deported. And so I uh, said, look, if you want to come for our immigrants, you're going to have to come through a white male veteran. You know, if you cut me, you'll see Bernie Sanders leaking out of my, you know, instead of blood, you'll see faces of Bernie. I said, you know, um, and you're going to have to come through me, Spartacus. Because um, that's just bullshit. That's not cool. Usually try not to swear on things that are going to be public, and this will definitely be one of those. Um, but yeah, this is, this is garbage. What the hell? Um, and then you have Mick, Mick Mulvaney coming out like, what, we're going to feed old people and kids? Feed old people and kids? We have rich people that need to be massively richer. What the hell? Come on. Draconian austerity for everybody. Uh, this is ridiculous. Um, so if I have the way to uh, help push the uh, cultural um, evolution towards a more progressive uh, route, man, I will find a lot of honor in that especially since West Valley City is the second largest city here in Utah. Um, Salt Lake City has already come out as a sanctuary city. I have some pretty good ideas with some of the challenges that are uh, um, West Valley is up against. Uh, minimum wage, for one. I know people working in the mall can make as little as seven twenty-five an hour. What in the actual hell? We actually had a representative, um, Lynn Hemingway, who tried to raise the minimum wage, but uh, yeah, it failed because the GOP just want to spend money on their own little pet projects. Um, and uh, what, I think Jason Chaffetz spent like $3,000 at the at the uh, um, Apple store while he's telling us that we shouldn't have cell phones if we want to have, um, uh, have healthcare. Meanwhile, the vast majority of uh, poor, working poor, working class have their phone as their only computer. Yeah, Jason Chaffetz, go fuck yourself. Um, yeah, the time that we live in, this is just ridiculous. Um, I apologize if you uh, don't agree with the course language. I'll try to keep it to a minimum, but, man, this really enrages me. I mean, what in the actual hell is going on? And meanwhile, we have people like uh, Ron Bigelow, who said that he is going to run for mayor again, who's the current mayor right now. I, I don't see him coming out uh, in defense of Utah citizens uh, about... 50% uh, of West Valley is uh, ethnic minority. Um, I would dare say, I haven't looked up the demographics, and pardon me if this is um, um, a gross generalization, but I would bet that the vast majority of the immigrants here probably are in the um, lower tier of working class and likely fall in line with the people who only have a cell phone for their only computer. So when Chaffetz is disparaging those people, he's disparaging likely a vast majority of people within West Valley. Where's Ron Bigelow? Silent, doesn't care. As long as his GOP agenda gets pushed, as long as we can spend money on what's called small government. Meanwhile, they regulate every uterus. They spend 54 billion more on a freaking um, on our defense, while putting pushing draconian austerity measures onto us. Meanwhile, the wall that Mexico is going to pay for, we're now going to pay for. Mitch McConnell has even come out and said that that Mexico is not going to pay for it. 
Meanwhile, the health care plan, that's an utter disaster, the dumpster care. Um, Paul Ryan, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, this is bad, but, uh, oh, you didn't hear about the second and third part. And yet Tom Cotton's out on a conservative radio saying, yeah, there is no magical second or third part. This is all they had. If they had a magical second or third part that could get easily passed, they would have rolled it out with the, with the initial rollout of dumpster care um, in order to get it passed, in order to get the 60, 61 votes in the Senate. And um, yeah, this is ridiculous. Um, and while mayoral uh, roles aren't national roles, um, national politics, especially here in Utah, can have a, you know absolute effect on my citizens here in West Valley, Utah. So fear not. Uh, there's actually a white male veteran who actually has an intact sense of ethics and morals, and I definitely stand for human values. Um, I don't stand for draconian austerity, so the massively wealthy can get even more massively wealthy. Uh, that's just crap, and uh, boy, does that piss me off. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, follow me. My Facebook page is Joshua Cameron for West Valley City Mayor. If you like the video, please share it. You know, I can definitely uh, use some help with getting some traction. West Valley City is quite a big city. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful night. Bye.